You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, everybody. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. In filming these hero segments for about a year and a half now, I have found some common threads among the CNA heroes that we've recognized. That common thread is passion. Passion for life and helping others. Many times this passion comes from a personal experience that left an indelible mark on their heart. This hero is no different. Thank you to the Chillicothe, Ohio Gazette for initially publishing this story. Stanae Smith, a junior in high school, was uncertain what she wanted to do with her life when her mother encouraged her to file an application for the local technology center, Pickaway Ross Career Technical Center. But despite some challenges along the way, the 19-year-old Stanae now believes that she has found her purpose. Stanae said, all I want to do is make a difference in people's lives. I just want to help others. At Pickaway Ross Career and Technical Center, PRCTC for short, Stanae joined the Health Science Academy and started working on her state-tested nursing assistant certification, or what most of the country recognizes as CNA certification. Stanae, who says she doesn't perform well on tests because of anxiety, which I can relate to that, she failed the exam three times before she finally passed. Stanae has always been resilient and caring. When she was younger, a close family member overdosed. And while Stanae had suspected her family member was using illicit substances, this was her first confirmation. When Stanae was a sophomore, PRCTC created its own chapter of Drug-Free Clubs of America, a student organization devoted to a drug-free life and community. She joined, and in October of 2018, she became the spokesperson for the group at a local rally. Stanae said, drugs have devastated my family, but drugs have not devastated me. I am drug-free. Joining the club was important for Stanae because it showed her family, friends, and herself that despite a family history of substance abuse, she would not fall into that cycle. Stanae also believes that keeping herself busy with work, sports, and clubs will limit any opportunity she may be given to use drugs. She helps organize blood drives for Pickaway Ross and has been involved in student council, science club, yearbook, and more, all while working full-time and part-time jobs. After she passed her state exam, Stanae was also granted early work placement through PRCTC. She started working at a local facility on the dementia unit. Stanae works three 12-hour shifts a week at the nursing home and sometimes even picks up more. It wasn't until she started her clinical work that Stanae realized she was passionate about nursing. After she met the residents, she was hooked, she said. While most students only complete the program's required 270 hours, Stanae said she's well over 300 clinical hours. On the unit, Stanae works with one other aide and a nurse to provide care for 22 women. And Stanae says the atmosphere on the unit is one of support and love. She said some residents only have family visits once a week while others have no family at all. That's why when Stanae enters the facility, she works hard to ensure each person receives the care and support they need. But she said sometimes people battling substance abuse, which is very important to her, or who, who are in recovery, come into the facility. Instead of judging the individuals 
like so many other people do. Stenae speaks with them to better understand their stories and learn what brought them to drugs. With the new information, she hopes to continue to keep herself on the right track. After Stene graduates, she plans to continue her education at PRCTC, despite the fact that she was unsure if she ever even wanted to be there. In addition to continuing her work at the facility, Stene will enroll in the Practical Nursing Education Program to become a licensed practical nurse LPN. In the future, she hopes to find a program where she can also become a registered nurse. She was even asked to speak to juniors at PRCTC who had just taken their STNA exams to show them that even if they fail, they can try again and succeed. Stenae says, all I want is to be a helper. I like to be the person to guide others. I just want to make sure people are doing okay. Stenae Smith, you are an outstanding young person and a fantastic advocate. Thank you for your work and dedication and everyone, please join me today in celebrating Stenae Smith, CNA hero.